what we're doing on this lab is deauthenticating and we're going to be reading the, the handshake to our access point to steal the password. So let's go ahead and, and start. Um, first we need our uh, wireless NIC. Network interface card uh, adapter, which is going to be external. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing IW config to verify that it's currently in monitor mode. It's not; it doesn't come in monitor mode, but there's videos of how to change monitor mode. So once we're done there, let's go ahead and uh, do an arrow dump ng or let's do a uh, sudo airmon ng check out because we don't want processes to conflict with each other. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Selection, so check kill. Just make sure that there's no process. As you can see, there's no processes currently that will conflict with it. Um, now let's go ahead. This is to get into modern mode, but our mind's already in modern mode, so let's go ahead and do the uh, sudo arrow dump in GWLAN to get the MAC addresses. So we want to get the MAC addresses, so let's go to paste the selection and do that. And uh, I found the MAC address already of the one I want show the access but I want to I want to uh, get the key from so we go in and, and uh, we focus on our BSS ID and what channel it's in which this was in channel one the BSS ID already wrote it down and just make sure you write it down somewhere um, so the next command that we're going to do is we're going to run the sudo arrow dump ng and we're going to focus in on that MAC address that BSS ID so let's go ahead and copy that and then we'll go to paste it can see there we have uh, our, our BSS ID and we have we're looking for a target I currently have nothing connected to it but I have my iPhone connected to it which I just read it which is perfect because I could I could see when we deauthenticate so that's great but we're going to want to do is we're going to want to capture that handshake so let's go ahead and do the sudo sudo arrow dump ng uh, capture and instead of capture one I'm going to Hack one on there. Uh, so let's go and paste selection, and we'll just call it hack one for simplicity. Because I already practiced with hack one, so let's get this with hack one. So as you can see there, um, it's currently currently running. We have nothing here uh, now. We could do this probably beforehand, but uh, I like doing it afterwards so what we're going to be doing is we're going to have to check that we're on the correct channel so in order to do that I'm, I like running WLAN stop uh, and then WLAN start and the correct channel channel 1 so let's go ahead and do that so paste selection and I'm on WLAN 0 and the password for Kelly is going to be that and then I'm going to start it start channel we specify. So now it's back in my mode and in the correct channel. So we could clear this out and now we could do our deauthentication attack to go and deauthenticate these uh, connections, these stations to that. Now this is something that you definitely don't want to be doing um, at a coffee shop. You, you don't want to be doing it at a hotel. It's something that will definitely get you arrested if it found. It's very illegal. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do this. We want to capture the handshake, so we're going to authenticate it, and these clients are going to start trying to authenticate back into our network, in which case we're going to capture the handshake. So let's go and paste the selection. So just going to authenticate over and over and over and over and over again. And we're going to wait for these clients to be kicked off and try to reconnect. Uh, as you can see here, we had one client that was kicked off and tried to reconnect. So that's perfect. We captured the handshake. So let's go and cancel that. And uh, now with the handshake in line, let's go and we can look at this uh, these files that are created. As you can see here, I have a few. But uh, here's back one, a six. So it's a cap, right? But I'm going to look at uh, Wireshark hack 103. Uh, 
I know for sure that that one contains the full hashi. So there, let's go with the EA full. Full. Uh, the filter. And we're looking for the handshakes here. And now we're looking for the handshakes. And the handshake does exist. It goes all the way through here. Um, it's got, we have a bit of extra, but as you can see here, like a message too. I, I opened up this 802.1x. And you can see here the key. Um, this is perfect because we'll want. So then, once we do that, once we kind of verify that everything's the way it should be, uh, we want to go ahead and take it out of monitor mode. Um, I, I just disconnect my, my uh, wireless connection, and uh, or my wireless adapter. So uh, let's go ahead and run the set crack ng um, to get the the passcode. Aircrack NG, and I'm going to be using the rockyou.txt word list, uh, which is a very popular word list. Now, let's go and uh, leave this running. As you can see here, it's going to take almost two hours, it might take a little longer to figure out um, the key. Now, the issue with this uh, Aircrack NG is that it could, it could take for a harder password, for more difficult passwords, it could take a good while. To run through everything. Now there's better options like Hashcat. Um, John the Ripper is a better password, but well, that that might not be the best option here. But um, Hashcat, for example, you, could, you you need to crack the GPU because this password is going to be too difficult for it to hack um, to crack. And so, if we're dealing with, with a harder password, then we need to use a different tool 